baby. Mm. Can I tell you later? No. I want to know now. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> ah. mm. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Oh. Miles said that he caught Terry uh, on a date with some Joe Bay looking dude. What? What? Oh, you lying. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> See, babe, I was not supposed to tell you, okay? Oh, that's all right. I'm not going to say nothing to nobody. All right. <laughs> oh, you know, I think I'm going to go back to bed now. <clears throat> baby, 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 baby. Um, he's just going to leave your husband like this. Mm. Mm. Do I ever? Mm-mm. You know how loud you can get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've been living dangerous Cause in the whole wide world nobody can trust I've been living dangerous Cause in these inner city streets anybody might bust On top of my game you can't be me But this is how it is in the windy city Oh, casual keys and girl, and she was a trip. Uh -huh. My people got them chips and hit the low, low switch. Now Jim Pope, Pope, and all now, these rivers are snitch. You scared the shit out of all over there, dog. Hi. How you doing? Yeah. 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 Wanna dance? Kind of looking for somebody. If you don't find her, let me know. Yeah. yeah. Yo, <laughs> what up, cuz? You tell me. Ah, just keep me a minute, baby. Yo, man, I sure feel good to know I got family and I'm back again. Yeah, don't put that off on me, big dog. I'm just doing a couple of runs because I need Because you need the dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Not to be tripped with. Down to hit the switch with. Watch it get you chunk with. Knocking rivers on their back at the back. Not to set trip with the bring water to the punks that don't understand you got company, Calvin. All right, ma'am. You want something to eat, sugar? No, thank you, ma'am. OK. Come on, Fred and Wilma. <laughs> ma'am. Yeah. Hey, Smokey. So you Frank goes new courier? I'm not real big on chit-chat, so if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, that's no problem. Come on. You've got three keys. Four MP5s and four nines. <laughs> what are you gonna test it or make love to it? Neither. Frank will trust you, I trust you. Great. Um, I'm gonna need your car keys. <laughs> I don't think so. Brother, <laughs> I have a 600 SL, a Hummer, and a Jag. Trust me, whatever it is you have out there, I don't need it. Just give me the fucking keys. Yeah. Come on, they'll load you up. I assume whatever you have has a cargo cover. Yeah, I got a cargo cover. <laughs> Is it uh, too warm in here for you? Nah, I'm cool. <laughs> uh, you don't look cool. Hey, do me a favor, uh, remove your shirt. Come on, man. Move your shirt. Do what the man says. And your pants. Nice pants, man. Are those Armani's? They're just pants. Yeah, go ahead.
You know you're driving with your headlights, officer? No, I didn't, officer. Thanks. Can I see your driver's license? Shit. What's the problem? My wallet. Step right up there, please. License. I can't let him drive without it. Baby's car seat now. I didn't want to tow it in. Thank you. Maybe somebody will return it. What? Your wallet. Oh, yeah. Is Jeremiah with Terry? Yeah, I, I woke her up to watch him. What are you out in Hazelcrest for? Bumped into a friend at the club. He said he needed a ride home. A friend? You playing around on me, Lem? Here we go. What is that supposed to mean? It means you're always worrying about nothing. I'm cool. We're cool. So just stop worrying, OK? OK, fine. I will stop worrying. Good. So when we get back home, you go back to bed, I'll go find my wallet, and we'll talk about Oh, hell no, we won't. It is 3.30 in the morning. When you get home, that is where you're going to stay, period. Thank you. I haven't had a fight, not even a stare down in a week. But every morning, it's the same routine. My mom kisses me on the forehead and threatens to send me to the possum meters if I get kicked out of school. I can get some milk from your mama's big, droopy titties. <laughs> I hope possum tastes like chicken. Break it up, you two. We're late. Mm -hmm. And you know your sister. Instead of being happy, you decided to come to complain about us being late. I know. I'm sorry. I should have called sooner. No, no, it's OK. I'm just glad you changed your mind. Yeah, well, Lem says stop worrying about him so much. So I figured get myself a little bit more involved in this case. That will help me do it. Mm-hmm. What is rattling around back there? I don't know. Probably something that fell out of one of my grocery bags. Remind me to get it before we go home. Mm. OK. Bird! Bird! Mr. Lester, when you and Mr. Joseph started the partnership, how much did you invest personally? I don't remember. Well, maybe this will refresh your memory. Your Honor, I'm placing before the witness the document previously marked Exhibit 3. Is that your signature, Mr. Lester? Yeah, yeah, I guess. I'm sorry, you guess? Yeah, yeah, it's mine. So it was Mr. Joseph who invested all the money, because you invested nothing. And then he was generous enough to make you an equal partner. I worked just as hard as he did. No, I'm sure that you did. Stealing what rightfully belongs to somebody else is back-breaking work. Objection. Argumentative. Sustained. You're over the line, Miss Alicante. I apologize, Your Honor. So you bought out Mr. Joseph for $20,000? That's right. But at the time, the business was worth $400,000? Let me tell you something. Jeremiah needed more money to pay for his gambling debts. Now, I got sick and tired of the way he was sinning, so I bought him out. For $20,000? That's what he asked for. He was desperate, Mr. Lester. Yeah, he was desperate because he couldn't stay away from them damn ponies. And he blew it all on them slot machines. And Lord knows whatever else. She knows what I'm talking about. Objection. He dragged her every place he went. Ask her. Go ahead. Objection. Mr. Lester. What? Sit down. What? 
I also strongly suggest you refrain from having outbursts like that in my courtroom. Let's not tell Mama we came here today, okay, baby? Okay. That smug girl. <laughs> In fact, after I drop these papers off to your Uncle Hardy, we're gonna get us some ice cream, all right? And then you can tell Mama how good the ice cream was. Okay, Daddy. All right, sugar, come on, let's go. I hated what Jeremiah was doing. Just wait. What's up? I need the car. Can you get a ride home from your sister? Where are you going? See about a job. Okay. Look, just get out. You want to tell me why you're acting so strange? How are you just going to take the car without telling me? Look, I'll be home in an hour. We'll talk about it then. So now, please, just get out of the damn car. Go! Listen to me. No, no. You won't have to get on the stand. I promise. Okay? I'll talk to you when I get home. All right. Sister wigging out? Yeah, she's going through so much right now. I just want to protect her as much as I can. Hi. May I help you? Uh, packages. My assistant's not at her desk? No. No, she's not. Thank you. You're welcome. Cute, huh? Hmm? Cute. I didn't notice. It's too late, Mrs. Chadway. I have to expel him. You don't even know what happened, and I don't care. I hope you understand. If Ahmad is allowed to behave this way, all the students will expect to. I'm sure that they'll be happy to welcome him back at his old school. Jake asked if he could suck your big droopy titties. And that's why I threw my oatmeal on. Ahmad, Ahmad. Well, he's, uh, <clears throat> he's obviously upset. Obviously. And so am I. I mean, I know Ahmad is wrong for what he did. But I'd like to know what action was taken against this other boy who was allowed to speak to my son in such a foul manner. Mrs. Chadway, verbal insults do not give a student the right to become physically violent. In fact, uh, some would argue that uh, dealing with verbal jibes is part of growing up. Yeah, and I might argue that when you're placed in a situation where you're the different child, the school has a responsibility to protect you from such verbal jibes instead of kicking you out for becoming overwhelmed by them. So I will ask you again, what action was taken against the other boy? He was suspended for the day. Oh, so he wasn't kicked out of Lakeside Prep and told his old school would welcome him back? No, no, but, um, look, why don't I do some further investigating on this and I'll get back to you. Well, I'd appreciate that. And while you investigate, I'll assume Ahmad will be able to remain a student here. That's correct. 